the cat sat on the mat. We want to search for cat. So, in fact, let's put cat there as well. So, we want to search for cat. There are two instances of the word cat inside this string here. So, what we need to do is we need to start at an offset of zero. Let's pull all this down so it doesn't distract us. We're starting at offset of zero. So it's going to start from before the T. This is position zero. This is one. We remember we start at zero. So we're going to go zero, one, two, three. Four is where it is where the uh, C starts. So one, two, three, four. That's where it starts. Now our position is our offset is now equal to four. Or no, sorry, this substring equals four and our offset equals zero still. It's probably a better way to represent it. So we've set zero, one, two, three, four, and we've got to this C here. Now our offset, the next while around the loop, wants to be here. So we need to add three characters to it. However, how do we know how many characters to add to it? Well, we need to obtain the length of the search term in order to add to the offset. So what we need to do is, um, we need to first of all set the offset to the, um, the value, um, let me think, hold on. So substring four, right, substring is equal to four. We need to set the offset equal to substring add the amount of characters in here. So the substring will now become four add three, which is seven. So now the offset seven, the next while around the loop, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've missed out this because we've already found this. We don't need to process this. Now it's gonna search from here and it's gonna find another instance of it here. And then it will do exactly the same thing as I've just explained. So if you don't understand this, rewind the video and listen to, to what I've said again and try and understand how these variables are being set each time. Remember we can use the string len function with this cat to obtain the length of the string, so that's not a problem. So, let's put this into action, put my words into action. And let's pull that up. And so, we're in the loop. Let's say this returns as uh, four, like we did before. So remember it was four characters. Now, we don't need to think about this yet. We just need to do the code and then we can test to see if it works. So, the offset is now going to be equal to strpos add, and we need to add the string length of the search text. So, let's come down here and say search length equals strlen. This is going to return the length of the string in an integer. So, search. Now what we do is just add that on. Okay. So now what will happen is the next right, the next uh, while around this loop, the offset will dynamically change because we've used a variable here and we've changed the variable here. When we started at zero, each time around the loop, this is going to be dynamic and change. So let's echo this out each time. Put a line break on the end so we can test what we're doing. So the cat sat on the mat or the cat sat on the cat we're going to search for cat we're replacing with at the moment this doesn't matter because we haven't taken this into account in our program so we click find and replace and we'll return with 7 and 22 now this has disappeared but let's just retype it now let's to double check that everything's right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 remember we're starting now from there We've already, we, we, we've already got the substring, in fact, let's echo the substring as well, or the string pause rather, sorry. So echo str uh, pause. This is this, which is changing, remember? And we'll put a break on the end of that. So we're gonna be uh, output the string position, then the offset, then the string position again, then the offset, because we've got two instances of cat. So search for cat, replace with monkey find and replace so let's type this again the cat so at position four one two three four we find the word cat 
we skip this because we know the position, so that's fine. We can do we can replace that later with the uh, substring replace function. One, two, three, on is at position seven. So four, five, six, seven. Now we begin searching from here. So one, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. At nineteen here we find the instance of the word cat and three later we end up with 22 now at this point we're at the end of the string so in our program uh, this is going to evaluate to false so we're going to break the loop it's as simple as that thinking about it however when you are writing it you might find it a bit hard to get around the logic so if I was to say cat 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 after this and I'm searching for cat again monkey doesn't matter right now and I can replace, we get a whole bunch of variables, uh, numbers here, sorry, telling us the position and where we're starting from after. The same if I was to just type monkey, search for monkey and replace with cat, for example, find and replace, oh, monkey, monkey, cat. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll address this issue later um, when we test it.